हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ चेतनगर आई एम मास्टर टीचर हेयर एट वेदांतु वेलकम अगेन टू आवर आर एम ओ फ्लैश बैक सीरीज इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन एट एंड नाइन्थ ऑफ ईयर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी टू राइट बेसिकली इन ईयर नाइनटीन नाइन टू टू इन आर एम ओ दे हैव आस्ट नाइन क्वेश्चन ठीक है सो वी विल डिस्कस क्वेश्चन थ्री क्वेश्चन इन टूडेज सेशन राइट एंड अगेन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द सेशन लेट मी गिव यू वन इन्फॉर्मेशन that uh, currently here at vedantu we are running pre rmo rmo and inmo batches those who have not cleared pre rmo yet or have not appeared for pre pre rmo yet they can simply visit our website olympia.vedantu.com here we have provided each and every information regarding pre rmo batches and those who have already cleared pre rmo uh, we will simply enroll you to rmo batches and those who have cleared rmo we will simply enroll you to inmo batches right all you need to do is just mail your name class your contact number address along with the proof that you have cleared either of these exams on this email id right chetan.garg@vedantu.com uh, we will simply enroll you to the respective batches and uh, these batches are completely free of cost because the ultimate purpose is to bring gold for india okay that's why we have kept uh, these batches are as free right so chalo let's start our session today's session right uh, so this is question number 7th of year 1992 ठीक है दिस इज एज यू कैन सी दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ इनइक्वालिटी एंड इन दिस वी हैव टू प्रूव समथिंग दैट वन अपॉन वन थाउजेंड वन प्लस वन अपॉन वन थाउजेंड टू प्लस वन अपॉन वन थाउजेंड थ्री एंड सो ऑन इज लेस देन वन अपॉन वन बाय थ्री दैट इज फोर बाय थ्री बट इट इज पैरली ग्रेटर देन वन राइट तो बेसिकली वी विल डिवाइड दिस इन टू टू पार्ट है ना फर्स्ट वी विल प्रूव दिस पार्ट दैट इज ग्रेटर देन वन देन वी विल प्रूव दैट दिस थिंग इज ऑल्सो लेस देन फोर बाय थ्री राइट so as you can see that the reciprocal of this series will be in uh, ap right uh, and that that means this is in this is clearly hp and as you can see how many terms are there there are basically 2001 terms okay so simply we will apply arithmetic mean greater than harmonic mean as clearly the terms are distinct so it will be strictly greater than it cannot be equal to right so arithmetic mean of these 1000 uh, 2001 terms will be 1 upon 1001 plus 1 upon 2000 1002 plus 1 upon 1003 plus and so on right up to how much 1 upon 3001 right upon 2001 as there are 2001 terms right that will be greater than their harmonic mean harmonic mean is nothing but 2001 upon 1 upon 1 upon 1001 right plus 1 upon 1 upon 1002 plus and so on 1 upon 1 upon uh, 3001 right this is basically the harmonic mean of the 2001 term right so as you can see that the, this left hand side that will be greater than 2001 it will be simply uh, the reciprocal of these terms will be ap and there are 2001 terms which are in ap we need to find the sum of these terms clearly the middle term will be 2001 so we can simply say that the sum of the this ap uh, will be 2001 into 2001 middle term into number of terms right as you can see this will be 1001 this term is clearly 1001 this term is 1002 this term is 3001 so we are just adding these uh, 2001 terms which are in ap so that will be n into middle term right so clearly this will got cancelled out with this and this will got cancelled out with this so this simply implies that 1 upon 1001 plus 1 upon 1002 plus 1 upon 1003 plus and so on up to 1 upon 3001 that will be simply greater than 1 right so that was the first part of this inequality okay uh, we have used simply arithmetic mean greater than or equal to harmonic mean right आई होप ये समझ में आ गया होगा बहुत आसान सा क्वेश्चन था नाउ लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट विच इज लिटिल बिट ट्रिकी ठीक है सो इन दिस पार्ट वी नीड टू प्रूव दैट दिस इज नथिंग बट दिस इज लेस देन फोर बाय थ्री राइट दिस आई हैव सॉल्व विद सम ट्रिक राइट वी कैन सिंपली से दैट दिस लेट्स ए वी नीड टू प्रूव दैट दिस इज लेस देन फोर बाय थ्री ठीक है लेट्स ब्रेक दैम इन टू फोर पार्ट ठीक है there are 2001 terms right let's uh, let's keep out this term and let's break the remaining 2000 term into four parts of 500 terms each right 
ठीक है तो लेट्स से फर्स्ट पार्ट इज वन अपॉन वन थाउजेंड वन प्लस वन अपॉन वन थाउजेंड टू प्लस एंड सो ऑन फर्स्ट फाइव हंड्रेड टर्म्स राइट तो दैट विल बी अप टू वन अपॉन फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड राइट दैट विल बी क्लियरली लेस देन इफ आई से वन अपॉन वन थाउजेंड प्लस वन अपॉन वन थाउजेंड प्लस एंड सो ऑन अप टू वन अपॉन वन थाउजेंड अगेन फाइव हंड्रेड टर्म्स राइट वाई आई हैव कैप्ट वन थाउजेंड बिकॉज क्लियरली फाइव हंड्रेड अपॉन वन थाउजेंड दैट विल बी हाफ राइट सो दिस थिंग दिस थिंग इज क्लियरली लेस देन हाफ राइट दैट आई कैन से दैट इज नथिंग बट दिस इज इक्वल टू फाइव थाउ फाइव हंड्रेड अपॉन थाउजेंड राइट विच इज हाफ ठीक है Similarly, the next 500 terms that will start from one upon one five zero one plus one upon one five zero two up to how much? Up to let's say one upon two thousand, right? This I can say this will be less than uh, how much? One upon fifteen hundred plus one upon fifteen hundred plus and so on. Same terms uh, repeated 500 times, right? So that will be nothing but uh, how much? Five hundred upon fifteen hundred, and that is nothing but one by three, right? Similarly, I can say the next five hundred terms, which will start from one by two thousand one plus one by two thousand two, right? Plus and so on till now uh, where one upon twenty five hundred, right? That will be simply less than how much? Uh, uh, this time I will compare with two thousand, huh? So that will be five hundred upon two thousand, which is nothing but which is one by four, right? Similarly, the other uh, 500 terms, which will start from one five one upon two five zero one plus one upon two five zero two, right? Plus and so on up to how much? Up to three thousand, right? Again, as I uh, start uh, stated in the initially uh, initial part, that let's uh, keep this term aside and uh, let's uh, divide the remaining two thousand terms into four parts, as like this, huh? So this will become five hundred upon how much? Twenty five hundred, right? Again, that is nothing but one by five, right? So I hope अभी ये समझ में आ रहा होगा, ठीक है? तो clearly these are strict inequalities. So I can say that this thing, uh, this whole thing, right? That will be less than less than how much? This one by two plus one by three plus one by four plus this one by five plus this remaining term one by three thousand one, right? So one by two plus one by three plus one by four plus one by five. Plus one by three thousand one, right? And if you add these things, right? Let's say if we add these things, uh, what is the LCM? I guess sixty is the LCM, right? Yes, sixty is the LCM of these things. And in the numerator, what we will achieve? Thirty plus how much? Plus twenty plus fifteen plus twelve. Take it. And this is nothing but seventy uh, seven upon sixty, right? And uh, so that is nothing but that is equal to seventy seven upon sixty plus how much? Plus one upon three thousand one, right? And clearly, uh, if I ask eighty upon sixty is nothing but four by three, right? So it will require another three by sixty, right? Which is one upon twenty. To make it to four by three, and we are adding how much one upon three thousand one. So clearly, I can say that this thing is still less than four by three, right? So this is what we need to prove. Right. So I hope you will part some understand. Agya hoga, ha na? So this just a tricky sa part tha, ha na? Uh, hint is divide all these parts in uh, four four parts of each each having five hundred terms, right? But I mean, uh, we are not able to show that each part is less than one by three. But we we are certainly able to solve that each part is less than half, less than one by three. One part is less than one by four. One part is less than one by five. And even if we add the last term, it still doesn't make up to four by three. So this whole sum will be less than four by three, right? So that was a good question. Well, as far as uh, RMO level is concerned, right? So this question basically contains two parts, right? One is we need to prove that this is greater than one, and other we need to prove that this is less than four by three, right? So I hope this question will be clear to you. Now let's proceed to the question number eight of year nineteen ninety two. So this is the question. Uh, this is a question from two thousand two. This states that x plus y into this thing is eighteen. This thing is thirty, and this product is two a. Okay. 
uh, and we need to solve the system in terms of the parameter a right that means we need to find the values of x y and z in terms of a right तो जैसा क्वेश्चन देखकर लग रहा है ना दिस क्वेश्चन सीम्स टू बी वेरी इजी है ना सिंपली एड दिस इक्वेशन है ना बट वी विल गेट ट्वाइस ऑफ x प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इन टू एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड तो दैट विल बिकम x प्लस वाई प्लस जेड होल स्क्वेयर दैट विल बी नथिंग बट हाउ मच 48 एट प्लस टू ए राइट सो वी कैन से दैट x प्लस वाई प्लस जेड दैट विल बी नथिंग बट दैट विल बी आई प्लस और माइनस ऑफ हाउ मच दैट विल बी ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस ए राइट so uh, as you can say that uh, we can say that uh, what is x plus y let's say uh, let's take first equation right so x plus y let's say add plus z and subtract z right into x plus y plus z that will be nothing but 18 right or uh, in, in fact uh, that is also we do not know matlab iske bhi zarurat nahi hai na iske bina bhi kar sakte hum let's say Let's just substitute the value of x plus y plus z, right? And uh, what will be x plus y? It will be x plus y. That will be nothing but eighteen upon how much? Eighteen upon x plus y plus z. Let's add z on both sides. Okay. So we can simply say that z will be nothing but how much? Uh, that will be x plus y plus z whole square minus eighteen. upon upon uh, x plus y plus z right so this will become x plus y plus z whole square was uh, that implies x plus y plus z whole square this is nothing but the, that was 24 plus a right so this will become 24 plus a minus 18 so this will become 6 plus a upon x plus y plus z which is nothing but plus or minus of under root of 24 plus a right so that this is the value of z right similarly the value of uh, x will be okay now we can uh, find the value of x from this equation so that will be nothing but x plus y plus z whole square by the same logic right minus 30 upon x plus y plus z right so that will be again uh, a minus 6 As x plus y plus z whole square is twenty four plus a, है ना तो that will be a minus six upon x plus y plus z, which is nothing but plus minus under root of twenty four plus a, right? So this is the value of x. Again, uh, if here is plus, then here will also be plus. Now let's find the value of y. Uh, by the same logic, y will be nothing but uh, how much? X plus y plus z whole square, right? Minus two a. Upon x plus y plus z, and that is twenty four plus a. So that will be twenty four minus a upon uh, plus or minus of under root of twenty four plus a. Right. So that is nothing but the value of y. Okay. So that was a pretty simple question as far as uh, RMO level is concerned. Right. So we just need to find the values of x, y, z, and again it has mentioned that we need the values in terms of a only. Right. Here the only catch is you need to write both plus and minus sign. Okay, so there will be two values of z, two values of x, and two values of y. Right, and again both are plus minus sign. So that was a simple question again as far as RMO level is concerned. Right, so let's move to the next question, question number nine of year nineteen ninety two. Okay, this seems to be a question of geometry. Uh, the cyclic octagon A B C D E F G H has sides A A A A. Four sides are A, and in fact, four sides are B. Great, uh, respectively, right? The, that means the, these four equal sides are uh, points are adjacent to each other, right? Now we need to find the radius of the circle that circumscribes this octagon in terms of A and B. All right. So let's first draw the figure, Anna. Okay. So this is an uh, let's say this start from here A B C D E right F G H. This is an octagon. As you can see, this side is A. This side is A only. This is A only. This is A only. These four sides are equal. You know? And let's assume to be uh, assume them to be small A. These are B B small B small B right. Okay. So what we can say uh, that let's say at the center. At the center, um, these sides will subtend some angle, right? 
so let's assume all right just a second let's erase this thing okay uh, so at the center these uh, four sides uh, these eight sides will subtend an angle of 360 degree that should be equal to how much let's say this side a subtends an angle of theta right and this b side subtends an angle of alpha right so we can say that 4 times theta plus alpha that should be nothing but sum of the circle right because equal code subtends equal angle at the center right so that means this theta plus alpha should be how much 90 degree right Okay, so let's say uh, if you consider, let's say this point is O, okay, so theta plus alpha is 90 degree, right? Now, uh, HB is a chord, as you can see, HB will be a chord, right? Uh, which subtends an angle of 90 degree at the center, so it will subtend an angle of 45 degree at the circumference because ye hame pata hai, na? the angle subtended by a chord at the circumference is half of the angle uh, that the chord subtend at the center right so hb chord will subtend an angle of 45 degree at the circumference let's say at any point in the in the circumference so that angle should be 45 degree now since h a b and this point let's let's name this point as m right clearly h a b m is a cyclic quadrilateral right so we can say that angle h a b that should be how much 135 degree right so what we need to find we need to find the radius i guess right ha huh. we need to find the radius clearly this thing is r this thing is r and this is 90 degree so hb hb should be how much H, hb should be r root 2 now if you consider triangle uh, hab uh, we know angle hab is how much 45 degree okay so if we apply cosine rule here so that will be cos 135 degree that will be nothing but a square plus b square minus hb square hb square will be uh, 2r square upon twice of ab i hope you understand and cos 135 degree is nothing but minus 1 by under root 2 right so if we uh, now do uh, what that will become that will simply become 2r square that will be equal to uh, under root 2 ab plus a square plus b square right so this will further imply that r is nothing but under root of 2 a b plus a square plus b square upon 2 whole under the root right so that will be the answer uh, that clearly this radius is in terms of a and b only and uh, in fact that is being asked in the question only right we need to express the uh, radius that the circum radius in terms of a and b so that will be the answer again uh, i will rate this question as uh, an easy question as far as rmo level is concerned right so all you need to do is just figure out this angle that these two adjacent chord a and b subtends at the angle uh, so this we have figured from this equation that this angle should be 90 and if this is 90 then the angle subtended at the circumference will be half that is 45 degree and hence this angle should be 135 degree and then uh, simply apply the uh, cosine rule right so uh, that was the question that was the question number ninth of year 1992 so that's it from our side uh, for today's session right we have discussed question number seven eight and nine and before concluding the session i will again give this information that those who have not uh, appeared for pre rmo or have not cleared pre rmo yet just visit our website olympia.vedantu.com here you will get each and every information regarding pre rmo exam and the uh, batches that we are running uh, for pre rmo those who have already cleared pre-RMO, we will simply enroll you to RMO batch. And those who have cleared RMO, we will simply enroll you to R INMO batch. Uh, all these batches are totally free of cost. All you need to do is just mail me your name, class, contact number, address and proof of clearance of these exams on this email ID. Right. Chetan.gar at Vedantu.com. Right? We will simply enroll you to the respective batches. Right. So bye bye. Uh, we will see you in the next session. In the next session, we will be discussing question number first and second of year 1993. Bye bye.